Did a hurricane come through here? Or oh, seriously, <laughs> why is everything falling over? Oh, we need new shampoo. Let's hope this is enough. This is enough, but yeah, not for long. We'll get both shampoos once. Hey, you cutie. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> uh, nope, not not yet. We wish we do this. Okay. Oh, you look so cute! Oh, by the way, I haven't mentioned this yet because I wasn't recording for a while. Um, I mentioned before, when I was younger I used to be a little bit, not just a little bit, pretty scared of horses, but I live in the middle of nowhere. There are horses around me. I know people with horses and, you know, that, that that's just how things are. Usually when you live in the middle of nowhere, you are healthy now, that's good. And yeah, I mean, I always had the offer to like go to our neighbor's horse riding lessons and whatnot, but I was scared of horses because they're massive and I was tiny and I still feel tiny compared to them. And it's true, you know, they are massive animals and I have a lot of respect for them. Well, if you don't want that photo published, you maybe shouldn't have done that the second I pulled out the camera. <laughs> Either way, uh, my mom sometimes um, goes to like feed old bread to our neighbor's horses. Don't worry, we have an agreement with them. They they know about that. And as a kid, I was always so scared about actually feeding them. Like I would just, you know, I was so scared about them eating my finger. And Last year, my boyfriend and I were at a petting zoo that also had horses, and I was like, you know, look at me, I'm 21. I was 21 then. Oh god, I'm 22, I'm so old. I'm turning 23 next year. <laughs> Where's the time going? Either way, I was like, you know, I'm no longer a kid. These horses are in a petting zoo. Petting zoo. They're used to people. You know, I, I can feed them, and I can pet them. And it was going okay, until this one horse realized I was out of feeding stuff, you know? The food was empty, there was nothing left in my hand, and, and then it nomped my finger. And I could not get it out of that horse's mouth for a little bit. And I had like a tiny, tiny, tiny wound on there for like a couple of days, but it was okay. It, it bled for two seconds, nothing major, like, it happened. But, that just reassured me, horses have a lot of power. And they scare me, okay? But uh, the boyfriend and I were at a, at a wedding a couple of weeks ago, because people our age get married now. <laughs> and um, the bride has horses, and the wedding party was at their house where the horses are also. So my boyfriend was like, oh yes, Kiwi really wants to pet the horses. Can, can, can you lead us to the horses? We're like, and I was just like, boyfriend, I am terrified. And then she pulls out a cute little shy horse and the biggest horse I have ever seen in my whole life. Like that thing was like three meters tall, basically. <laughs> if it would have stand on his hind legs, it would probably be five meters tall. Like that thing was massive. But it was cute. I pet it, it sniffed me, it was very friendly. So I managed to, you know, interact with a horse without getting murdered. Very nice experience. <laughs> uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, we need to put some stuff into our cart. Okay, we need we used that, we used a skin scraping scapel. Uh, is the shampoo in here? Yes. That and then also the flea shampoo ones. Okay. Let's hope this is going to give us a result. And the... Bean, I 
hungry potato and there's some bubbles already in the right turned in the right direction um i'm actually happy this this managed to get us something antibiotic for horses Okay, and then you, my dear little friend, go in here for a little bit, because you need wet food. But first you need another injection in a little bit. So we are going to order two of those. And already have a lot of points for sugar boo. It's not always on the first look. <laughs> and we take in the froggy fork, please. Thank you. Now we wait. So the fast delivery. I wish the book that I ordered would uh, would be delivered this fast. Because I ordered four books from this eBay seller. Three arrived after like two days. And I'm still waiting for the other one. And the thing is, I have I'm rereading re a series that I read when I was younger and buying some of the newer parts that have come out since then. And I read part ten yesterday. I have part eleven at home, but the one that I'm waiting for is part twelve. And since they're you know middle grade books, I can read two, three of them in one day, and I don't want. to start reading and then run out of books. I wonder why you are dirty. Such a mystery, hmm? So if they could be delivered this fast, please. <laughs> Thing is, usually I would buy them at my local bookstore that usually- Oh, I dropped. That's easy. That has- unless it's like some title that they need to import from like the UK or something because I usually read in English um it's there the next day but I think these books are getting out of print because the first couple parts have gotten new covers and I think they're no longer available because the new covers are currently in progress so I, I couldn't order them at my local bookstore, which always breaks my heart. I always feel like I'm betraying my occasional co-workers. <laughs> you know, another thing, incredibly sad about breaking my collarbone, but it was actually okay. Because at, at the time I was exhausted from graduation anyway and just being really done with life. Due to breaking my collarbone, I also couldn't have worked at the bookstore. Because, you know, I try to help there, help out during the summer, but I already, before that even happened, I was like, you know, I'm, I, I don't think this year is going to be very good, you know, I was so done with life after graduation, and in a way I still am, and that would have just been a lot of extra pressure, and mental health draining that I just wouldn't have been very good and this mattress should we do another one I mean we have so much money um not very good small farm time that is okay but eh. this is eh. matches matches and that is trainer like yeah trainer i think it's it's either trainer or traveler right perfect chris congratulations you now have the counterpart of my dog <laughs> and now we'll go home give taco his meds give him a bath and we'll return here because i really want to file hooves and technically we should also go on a few more walks with some animals but there's, 
There's so much I want to do. Um, another thing. Oops, not build mode, sorry. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Here's some straw. We always need that. Okay, we go back to the main shelter. Um, grab this for taco. Would have been funny if the package has now been dropped over here because we changed places so quickly. Congratulations, you are a healthy boy. A happy, strong, loyal, healthy boy. <laughs> Well, that happened very quickly. <laughs> like, literally, while we placed him on there, it just dropped to zero. Is that a glitch? Because I haven't had that happen before like that. <laughs> ah. Always something new with this game. Ah, look at him! So shiny! Some people like shiny Pokemon, we like shiny tacos. <laughs> Please don't get dirty again right after we lift you out of here. That would actually be a little bit annoying. Okay, where's... Where's the leftover wetna? <laughs> Wonderful term. good and we can return to the other four legged friends the terrifying friends <laughs> okay the eye drops still need a little bit i think the other antibiotic no oh, that's actually ready sure thing then Approach from the front, of course. Then, oops, no, I didn't mean to grab you like that. I wanted to pet you. Then, let's make sure that we do have vet food in there, actually. Because it isn't vet food. And the thing is, you're also not hungry right now. That sucks. Uh, it's okay, I'm putting away your poop. Okay, stop complaining. Uh, I, I don't even know what to say. Um, stack these here. Oh, one more. And the shampoo goes over here. Put the no, we put the extra ones in with the normal ones. Um, we fill up the straw in here first, I'd say, because this is usually that we don't have enough. Because <laughs> we're taking too many. Actually, you're doing okay, but I'd say we put one here. We have three left. These in the mount. Oh god, this is such a mess. Antibiotic. Can't even really go there. I don't know what this is. I really don't. Uh, eye drops are for our other little friend who will pay a visit to now. Also, I think we will need this. Uh, no, this was just... Okay, sure thing, I'll use a mop on the straw. If it works, it works. We do need it for this after all. And... Yeah, usually we use the first one more. <laughs> Little Minecraft hay that landed there. Mm. 
You hungry? <laughs> um, okay, you ready for your another second? Okay, sure thing, just run away. Not like I had any plans. Perfect. Okay, that little guy is ready for adoption too. By the way, it's getting late and I still need to wash my hair. Because I didn't do that yesterday. I actually forgot about that. But the thing is I'm leaving the house tomorrow and I don't want to look like a greasy mess. So I have to. <laughs> but we're gonna, you know, play a couple more minutes. Um, Gail. And I'll mess it up. You know, post to check everyone. Don't slump down your chairs like I always do. Piling hoops. Ah, <sighs> would have been too nice. <sighs> Imagine being able to get achievements. Can't relate. It's okay. I'll stop complaining. Okay, okay. 